We stand for fighthype.com. We're Abner Mars. Abner, first of all, big win, man. Champ again. Has it sunk in? What do you, how do you feel about the whole situation? <laughs> Thank you, brother. I'm really happy. Um, I'm really happy with the performance, with the win, with uh, everything overall. You know, it was, uh, it was a slow year, uh, you know, being that I only fought once mm -hmm. uh, last year. I uh, could have fought a little bit more, but um, you know, in circumstances, certain certain issues happen. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, I think we finished off the year with a really good win against a really good opponent, mm -hmm. and and not just the uh, the win, the, the way we won. You know, the the way we came back. Um, you know, with with Robert Garcia, as I mentioned, I said I was yeah. going to come different. I'm, I was going to show different, a different Abner, a different side, and I think I, I demonstrated that. You know, different uh, boxing abilities. How, how much did that change help you? Not just in your fighting, but just overall and everything, in training and everything. Um, just everything. I mean, I think I think it was. Um, I mean, I explained it, but it, I w it was self-explanatory, the way I just boxed, you know, the yeah. way I did things. I could have made the fight a little bit uh, more difficult for myself, you know, making it a brawl, making it may maybe more of a exciting fight, but at the end of the day, I think... It was he, still exciting, yeah, though. He, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, I could have given, given him, him the advantage of, mm -hmm. you know, connecting a little bit more and maybe risking a, a knockdown or something because the guy definitely, you know, carries the punch. But uh, I'm really happy with, with the team I have, with Robert Garcia, who obviously has Mikey Garcia fighting in this cart and uh, I'm just happy to be in a great team so what's next for Abner there's a fight here happening tomorrow mm -hmm. a lot of people think they, you and the winner might do that there's other champs in the division what do you want to do next there's actually two fights that I'm interested in and I'm going to be watching one of them um, you know the first one uh, Selby Lee or Lee Selby, yeah, Lee Selby. Yeah. Yep. Um, that, that the uh, winner of that fight you know obviously he's the uh, champion IBF I do definitely, my next fight, I want to unify it either with him or, or the winner of uh, Leo Santa Cruz Frampton. So um, th those fights look, and they sound interesting. Obviously, there's uh, talks about uh, the Oscar Valdez uh, possible fight, but as we know, he's, he's with top rank. I know there's been, they've been working together yeah. a few fights, uh, Mr. Al and him, so that's uh, another fight that interests me. I know he, I think he has something planned for March, uh, April, if I'm not mistaken. So um, either of those guys, I mean, I'm trying to say any any top <laughs> any top dog out there, you know, uh, I'm ready for. This fight here, uh, Preps in Santa Cruz. Who, who, how do you how do you see it? Break it down for me. Um, you know what? I, I don't see uh, Leo doing any any different other than maybe throwing a little bit more, being more concentrated. Obviously, with the circumstances that, that he had, you know, the, the dad being sick and all, uh, he might have trained maybe harder. But I don't see him changing much. Maybe he could uh, he could change as far as um, um, uh, try to use his reach, as he said. But um, I, I just I, I see Frampton still taking this fight. Is it, is it just a bad style matchup for him? Hey, Ashley, how are you? Great to see you. What's the champ doing this morning? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. good. Just getting in, actually. <laughs> doing good. Abner, if you fight the winner of this fight, what happens? Uh, if I fight the winner of this fight, I think it'll be a well. If if it's Leo, I think it'll be a different different type of fight as the first. I think I showed a different side of me, of the fighter, uh, in my last fight, and um, I think it'll be great. It's just Leo Mares two. Imagine that. Imagine the first one. Just be so exciting. Uh, just give you more than than the first one. Do you think that uh, perhaps you, you might be pulling for uh, for Leo to, to win this fight because if. <laughs> It'll set things up better for you. Of course, of course. I think I think uh, Leo winning makes the fight more interesting. Obviously, because because he will become world champion once again, and I will get I will get the uh, the the chance of um, fighting him and and, and 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 making my rematch. But nevertheless, uh, Frampton is a great champion, and I think I think that a, a fight between Frampton and myself is not bad either. They talk about Frampton and Selby. You know, that's the you know, big fight in the UK anyway. Yeah. That's what they're looking for. Yeah, that's a big fight for them, obviously, or even even myself. I, I threw myself out there and I said, hey, I don't I don't mind flying out there. I don't I don't mind flying, you know, or fighting at you know someone's home. At the end of the day, it's it's fighting. I feel I feel welcome either way because um, I'm gonna give them an exciting fight, so people respect that. You know, after after your last victory, that was huge because you could have you. People would have respected you. You were always a tremendous fighter. But Thank with you. that victory, you, you kind of cemented yourself. You moved to another plateau. I mean, do you feel that way? I definitely do. I definitely do um, because of the way I fought. I think I, I was smart about the way I fought and the way I chose my team. You know, now with being with Robert Garcia, a great coach, uh, great person, just took me to that different level that, I was, that I've been wanting to go to. 
Um, so just imagine a fight with Leo with this mentality, with this talent, with this group now. It'll be totally different. I see myself winning. Frampton, you know, I, I call out everyone, every anyone at this weight class because I feel that confident. And I think I showed it this last fight. And uh, I'm, I'm here, man. People thought I was gone. I was done. And I think I proved them wrong. I think I proved a lot of people wrong. And, and um, if anything, I said I was in my second win. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my prime right now. I'm in my You know, to fight it in his first card and becoming world champion in his first card is just means Amazing. everything to me. It was great. It was a victory for both of us. We, I think we both enjoyed it the same. And uh, it's, it's, it's back. And like you said, there were only a few people that believed in me, and he was one of them. He said, Abner, I'm here with you 100%. When I fr my first defeat against uh, um, Gonzalez, he went back there. He hugged me. He's ag champ. You know, nothing's... Ask me if my old manager or promoter went back there. No, but I'm, you know, those are old stories. But um, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, I have a great team now. I have great people behind me, and, you know, I'm only working harder. Yeah, if you have the option, I'm sorry, I'm taking all these questions, guys. If you have the option, if Leo Santa Cruz wins, to fight for the belt in LA, sell out Staples Center again, or go to Belfast and fight for the money, where do you go? I think LA. I think LA. Um, I think it's, 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 uh, <laughs> and I think the money will be in LA. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That answers your question too. Uh, so I, I think LA because um, it's just that good of a fight. You know, the first fight was just exciting, and the second one will be even even more exciting because now with working with Robert and the type of person, the mentality I have, the uh, experience I've been through, you know, everything is just gonna play out so well. But you know, if let's say Frampton wins and. Uh, and, uh, you know, and let's say there's an opportunity to maybe a least healthy fight. I agree with you. We pack, we pack our bags. If the money is bigger over there, we go over there. Because <laughs> it's, no about, that, it's yeah. about you now. And it's about mm -hmm. you taking the biggest fights, which will secure you and your, your family and whatever. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about you. It's about Apple and Mars. And he's not just, and he's not just saying fight. this because we have a camera in front of us. We this is exactly that. what type of conversations we have. You know, there's no, hey, talk to this guy and he'll tell me. No, no. I talk to the man directly, and that's how it is, man. Well, I have no problem no going to fight over there. You know, people's like, oh, you're fighting in his home. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe his country or whatever, but when it comes to fight, you know, you're inside the ring. You know, nobody's home. It's both of you guys' home. You make it your house, you know, depending on how you fight. So, um, you know, I got no problem flying out there or wherever, facing I anyone. When, when you fought Quayar, you had a moment over there mm -hmm. where he called you over yeah. and you said no. And Robert told me that he told you that and he the did. tunnel. Tell me about that. What he about did. Why right before we went in, he was like, hey, Amber. He was nervous, uh, obviously, because we knew the potential that Quayar ha had, the hard punching, the, the strength. And he told me, Amber, just don't make the mistake. I know, I know him. I know he's going to try to taunt you and he's going to say, hey, hey, let's make this a fight. Let's make you be smart champ you be smart you tell him no 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 i'm smart i'm smart and it happened and it happened i was fighting the guy did this and i'm like wait a minute Robert told me something. Oh, yeah. No. no. I'm smart. <laughs> and, and, and then I you dropped him. Describe that. And I dropped him. And you know what? And I tell and I told Robert this, and he could tell you. And I'm telling you guys right now. I think I could have, I, maybe, yeah, I could finish him. Or maybe ask a little bit more for, my, for myself and, and try to finish the fight and, and try to go for heavy punches. But I was comfortable. You know, I was like, no, nah, why risk it? You know, I threw a little flurry there. I thought they were going to stop it. And he, he ran. I was like, all right. It's 11th round, let's just finish this fight. So I had no urge of knocking him out. I think I could have though, if I would have pressured myself, but I just thought I was fighting the perfect fight. Amber, what do you think about Leo saying that he's gonna retire if he loses this fight? I mean, I think that's just a way of him motivating himself. Uh, come on, you see him retiring if he loses? No, come on, you can fight anyway. You can fight. I'll fight him even if he loses, <laughs> you know, because it's that good of a fight. It's no problem. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make you the fighter you are if you lose, you know. It's, it's just, 
it's, it's crazy, and I'm, I'm gonna call him out. It, it's not his fault, you know, but Floyd put that, you know, that you have to be undefeated to be the best. No, you, you can lose. How many champions didn't lose? You know what I'm saying? It just makes you that better of a fighter, you know, but but uh, all I'm saying is if he loses, I'm, I'm willing to fight him. If Frampton decides to take another fight against uh, uh, Selby Lee and wants to make that big over there, I'll fight Leo, and we'll make our own fight over here in L.A. Is that, so, a, is that a bad way to go into a fight with the mindset? If I'm not going to win this fight, I might retire. I mean, yeah, it could be. I wouldn't pressure myself that much <laughs> to say I'm going to retire it if, if I lose. But um, like I said, maybe he's using that as motivation. Um, I know he was going through a lot of things um, his last fight with his dad being sick and all, but now his dad is doing better. So let's hope we see the best of Leo this, this fight.